Hello, Soul Heads. It's Greg Allison. Green Greg is coming to you with a bad announcement. The war is on. Iran has launched drones, numbered uh, estimates uh, from 50 to hundreds now. They have launched, uh, apparently, cruise missiles following that. And it appears they're going to launch maybe other missiles all time to arrive, maybe around the same time. The drones take a little longer. And they have launched cyber attacks on Israel. Israel will respond. The people in Israel are panicking right now, according to sources. This is serious. This is game on. In the meantime, uh, the United States had promised that they would support Iran. So it looks like we're going to be in this. We've been expecting this to come for some time. This has been building up. Of course, Netanyahu wanted to take out the Iranian nuclear facilities all along. Should they get close to having a bomb? They may already have it. And they probably have it already just by given the confidence they've got to launch the tech that they're launching. My friends, uh, the Israeli uh, conventional weapons response is likely to not fare that well going into Iran. This is why it could go mushroom clouds. This could get much worse real fast. We don't know how fast this is going to escalate, but it's already escalated. It is on. This is a very serious matter. I am going to uh, open the chat room here, and I'm going to show you some articles on this to back up. This is coming from multiple sources, including the Israeli Defense Forces. So this isn't some fly-by-night announcement. This has been an official announcement. As you know, many countries had warned their citizens to get out of Iran um, immediately. Well, this is why. It is on. If, you ha if you're there and you hadn't got out, well, it's too late. You're going to be in a predicament. A serious predicament. So uh, we got the chat room open here now, so I can see what people are saying. We got 109 in here, so we're going to start sharing the uh, guys. It may be time to pray, among other things, more than anything. Get right with your Maker. Uh, we can expect the Strait of Hormuz to get blocked off. As you know, we do have an aircraft carrier there. We've got uh, apparently the uh, USS aircraft carrier Eisenhower is on the way, and um, uh, and in spite of all that, the Iranians have taken an Israeli link cargo, uh, had earlier taken an Israeli link cargo vessel in the Strait of Hormuz. So they still have the upper hand in the Strait, in spite of our forces there. Biden has appealed for them to release it. Do you think they're going to release it now since they're launching an attack? Fat chance. Oh my gosh, guys, it is on. War is on. So, uh, yikes, let's uh, go into the articles. This is a rough time. I didn't get no sleep last night, <laughs> so uh, bear with me if I'm a little raw here today, but we're going to share the articles. Gee, I was just hoping to take a nap for a change, but uh, let's get into it, guys, because this is serious. I'm going to show you the articles that's come out on it. There's quite a few already, unlike the uh, event when Hezbollah attacked, and I warned the Hezbollah attack was probably just to get Iran to, uh, to get Israel, excuse me, to uh, waste away and uh, use up some of their missile defense systems to kind of soften the uh, ability for is Iranian uh, attacks to get through. So there, there may be several salvos of these attacks so they can try to wear down the Iron Dome, David Slingshot, and the aerial missile defense systems that Israel has. So the first thing that was launched was drones. The drones got launched at 3.40 uh, a.m., uh, Central time in the United States, which had been 2:40 here a couple of hours ago, and it was estimated they had maybe a couple of hours to get there. They're probably on the verge of arriving right now. Colonel Cole, good to see you in the house. He was the first one that alerted me to this. I thank you for that. Holy smoke, guys, I'm fried. <laughs> anyway, so he was there to see me speak at the group called NARPNET here in Huntsville this morning. Uh, on bug out living. Well, you may have to start bug out living really soon, guys. I will do that presentation to you guys when this dust clears a little bit. It, well, it may not clear. Uh, uh, so here it is. Iran launches attack against Israel with missiles, drones in response to Syria's attack. They've also done a cyber attack. I'll show you there's an article on that too. A major cyber attack on Israel in addition to all these other weapons incoming right now. They're on their way to Israel uh, the, the drones were launched first because they're the slowest. Cruise missiles were launched next. And there was uh, uh, other things that said they would be launching ballistic missiles. And they may be in the air too now. So again, this uh, strike occurred in retaliation against the April 1 uh, strike that uh, Israel did against an embassy. 
I did hear Gerald Slaney on uh, uh, Canadian Prepper say that was against the Geneva Con Conventions. Actually, it's against the v uh, Viennese uh, uh, Conventions, not the uh, not the uh, Geneva Conventions, but still. It is uh, uh, against protocol to attack someone's embassy. You got to know when you attack somebody's embassy, that's equivalent to attacking their soul of the nation directly. So Israel knew when they did that, that they would get a response and the response is incoming right now. So like I said, it's like a few of these things go tit for tat, tit for tat as it escalates. It's like the war, world, our so-called leaders want this war. Does this mean that our elections will be suspended here in the United States? Will travel be suspended, if nothing else, due to uh, high cost of fuel or lack of ability to get fuel? Uh, this is escalating so fast here. This is the uh, this according to this article, the uh, regional tensions led to this escalation. You know, uh, being an all time high, and as it says, as the United States moves forces into the region while Jordan and Iraq close their airspace. Because Iraq don't want anybody coming across their airspace either duration. But militaries probably aren't going to honor that. Uh, this article says hundreds of drones, according to unnamed sources. Others have said uh, dozens and 50 drones. Well, I've seen multiple sources now saying hundreds of drones. So it's likely it was initially maybe 40 or 50. And more have been launched. Cruise missiles uh, have been cited in here. Uh, the, the Israeli war cabinet has convened. Uh, Israel uh, is reporting this on their channel 12 News. The White House is monitoring this. U.S. military, ready to act. You think we're not in this? We're in it. U.S. military, ready to act. This looks and smells a lot like World War III has ratcheted up, and we have we are finally getting pulled into this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hormuz straight tension. You think this? Uh, 20 percent of the world's petroleum goes through the Hormuz Strait. So if that gets closed, you can expect oil prices to spike steep, fast, if nothing else, just due to speculation. I'm expecting more than 20%. You're paying $4 a gallon for uh, in some places for gas, you'll be paying five or six. You're paying three something, four or five, maybe six or seven. If you can get it, it may spike even more because you want you cut down the supply a little bit. It has rather dramatic effects sometimes. Uh, I remember the OPEC uh, embargo back in the 70s with gas lines miles long at the gas stations. And if you were lucky to get to the gas stations, you, you paid a lot more. That's when the big vehicles in the United States used to have so popular got downsized dramatically after that. We quit driving the giant land yachts that lots of us enjoy. So Lebanon, Israel has carried out airstrikes in South Lebanon today also. Uh, the West Bank is ratcheting up. So what you can expect is that Hamas and Hezbollah will chime in. They will take advantage of this, and that will perhaps give some missile relief and ability for the, uh, Iranian, mis the Iranian missiles to get through if uh, these other guys launch more of their own. Who knows how much is going to be launched and when, what, how this is going to play out. But there is a fuselage of stuff. This says that right now Israel is in panic. People in Israel are panicking right now. So this video here is not that old. It's 30 minutes ago. Um, they're watching. Yeah, we're going to see some live stuff like really soon. In Al Jazeera, Iran has, and say Iran's also claimed this. It's not just the Israeli Defense Forces. Iran has claimed it. Iran launched a direct attack from Iranian soil. This is according in here to the Israeli military, but there is other uh post here on al jazeera saying that iran says drone and missile attack launch against israeli territory from their own territory it's war on the war is on jerusalem post iran attacks israel sends hundreds of drones and missiles yikes guys this is uh very 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 seriously Howdy, Colonel Call. I'll look at the chat room in a minute. Um, <clears throat> this is here from a post on X uh, saying that uh, Iran will likely synchronize their drone attacks. This is before the missiles got announced with faster moving missiles, which could be launched closer to the time the drones arrive. That's what I expected because those drones by themselves wouldn't be sufficient to get through the Israeli air defense system. 
So it makes sense that they would launch cruise missiles next and then ballistic missiles last. So so the time would be so that most of this stuff starts arriving or about the same time or closely the same time. Iran launched a barrage of drones. Oops, look here. As we got another update. Iran fires ballistic missiles. Okay, it's in. It's in. This just came out. This just popped on. This is we're here. Uh, you know, like I said, I would expect the ballistic missiles to enter the equation. Well, that's now been posted. So we know now that the attack is cyber, it's drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles launched at Israel. The escalation is full scale. I wish I didn't have to bring you this news today. I'm not ready for this. I'm not in Arizona like I ought to be. Yikes. Iran launched attack, long-range drones. This, this article is the first one. This is one that Colonel Cole sent me. This is a little bit earlier. These are the slower ones. Well, they'll all be arriving about the same time. So we're minutes from impact, probably just minutes, minutes from Iran taking salvos of drones and cruise missiles and ballistic missiles all incoming. As I said, the people in Israel are panicked. As at this point, they, I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. See, this is an earlier article from Express. Iran launched 50 attack drones. We're seeing hundreds listed in other sources now. It might have started out as 50, maybe more followed. We know cruise missiles followed. Now, ballistic missiles are in the air. Iran Excuse me, Israel shut down by Iranian cyber attacks, telling residents to prepare for war. So it started with cyber attacks. That's really what came first. This is exactly what Dr. Peter Vincent Pry warned a war would be like. It would start with cyber attacks. Will there be an EMP attack? What all is going to take place here now? Are there sleeper cells in Israel? As America gets into it, when would the sleeper cells here in America be activated? Today, tomorrow, next week, next month, I don't know. There's some trigger point. I don't know what the trigger point is, but we know they're here. We know from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps leader, their top general, that they had over 20 substations in America targeted. When do they decide to switch them on? What else do we have now that they'll switch on? Time to call the Space Force. Amen. I'm wearing my Space Force cap today because of this. Jeez, guys. It is on full tilt. IDF, Israeli Defense Force, that's what that is, confirms launch of Iranian attack on Israel. Says IDF tracking drones that will take several hours to reach Israel. Well, this was posted a few hours ago. Ah, IDF spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, in a press statement, he confirmed this. He said that the Israeli Defense Force is tracking the drones, while they're noting that they will take several hours. Well, this was posted probably two or three hours ago. All right. And then where does this come from? Well, U.S. military isn't that concerned about war with Iran. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Uh, this person here said, if Washington believed Iran was about to start a war with Israel, would the Pentagon be bringing home its morticians? Yeah, I think that's a good question to ask. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, it's not imminent anymore. It's in progress. Yeah. Biden, well, Iran, you need to release that cargo ship that you took immediately from Israel. Give it back while they're attacking them. Yeah, fat chance, fat chance. All right, guys, here is the carrier uh, fleet tracker here showing where the carriers are located right now. Maybe this is why uh, Kim Jong Un of uh, Kim Jong Un just told his generals a few hours ago to get ready for war right now. So is will will North Korea move? Will China make their move? This is the best time of the year for China to make a move on Taiwan. The sea states are good for an attack and invasion. Will they take advantage of that? I don't know. It could happen. Because while we're being he heavily distracted between the Houthis and the Red Sea uh, uh, with the situation with Hezbollah, with the Iranian war, see, we got this uh, aircraft carrier, the uh, Pat 
Force Y, I don't know how you pronounce that, over in uh, at the Strait of Hormuz that Dwight D. Eisenhower is booking, trying to get over there. It may fall under attack from the Houthis as it tries to get through the uh, strait here uh, next to Yemen. And we've got no less than three out here in the vicinity of China. And we got a couple off the West Coast. Uh, we've got a couple in the Mediterranean. And we got a couple in the Atlantic. One off, and one probably Garden, Washington, D.C., another off of uh, West Africa. It will probably be moving into here or down here. Uh, so, guys, we can just expect this to escalate. Our forces are being redeployed. I told you guys last night in the video I did that uh, American forces were being moved. Um, and, of course, you know, Putin just fired his uh, missile that we don't know which one he fired. So, um, and uh, he's actually talking about reactivating the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. So, for the first time ever, all six of the reactors were in cold shutdown. Now he's talking about firing them all up. As we know, a rainy, uh, excuse me, Ukrainian drone actually impacted the uh, dome of one of the containment buildings at Zaporizhia. And we know that because the IAEA complained directly against Ukraine for that, being complaining to Russia to move their military out of it so it wouldn't be uh, a target zone. So, uh, guys, this, it's ratcheting up. And just to make it all the spice, your earthquakes are ratcheting up too today. I want you to look at this. There's a 5.3 in Tonga. We got a couple of them down here in Indonesia, uh, just right on top of each other there. 5.3 and an aftershock. We got a, a 4.4 over there. Yeah, we got a lot of earthquakes going. We got a fair size up here in Alaska, 4.1 and Sestina. Uh, so the world is shaking. Our political system is shaking. War is on the, the its own way. War is here. War has started. I'm going to stop the share for a second. So it's happening. It is going on. The war is started. I will probably take this uh, later to swivel head news because I, I'm, these kind of videos, YouTube will demonetize them almost immediately. I don't know why. If I was several other channels, I could say this and more, and it would be fine. It would be just okay. By any other channel can carry this kind of news and be just fine and not be at risk or be demonetized or anything. But for some reason, YouTube wants to pick on me. So I don't know why, guys. But this is the case. We are uh, in escalation right now. Missiles are incoming to Israel. And uh, just, guys, get ready. If you've not prepared, what have you been doing? How long do you have to get your final stuff? I don't know. The clock is ticking. We're all dancing around the chairs, walking around the chairs. The music is about to stop. You're going to have to sit down. And what you got is going to be all you got when it hits the fan. So I don't know how fast it's going to escalate. Uh, Angela is uh, praying for us all. That is a good move. Moon goon, better keep your ears and here on our soil. Sleeper cells just probably waiting to activate. That's right. That's what I've been saying. So uh, I'll read through the chat room here real quick. Um, so if you're just joining, I just went through all these announcements. I'm going to see what you guys are saying about them or scan through the chat room. Uh, and then we're uh, and probably going to terminate this video in a little bit. I will likely go live again on Swivelhead News after I terminate here. Because uh, th th kind of, this kind of content puts this channel at risk of being taken out completely for some reason. I don't know why. It's just fine for many, 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 many other channels carry this kind of content. Like YouTube says, yeah, go ahead, good, good, good. You're totally monetized. You can run anything you want, say anything you want, but not Green Greggs. Uh -uh. I don't know why. I don't know why. But um, so uh, I'm going to try to move this over. I, I brought it on here tonight, today, excuse me, just because this is a bigger channel, I can get out to more people faster and get the word out. That's why I went live. So I went live here. We've got 327 in the room. Uh, appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Sasquatch Moon, good to see you here. Yeah, it looks like it's hitting the fan. Uh, it really does. Uh, Big Doug and Sasquatch Moon. Appreciate Rodney asking for the thumbs up. Uh, Michelle Davis praying. Yes, 
uh, Brian Prendy, I caught a live. Greg's wearing his finish colors. <laughs> well, you know, I got blue eyes. Look good in blue, right? <laughs> yeah, surprised we're not bloodshot. I really didn't sleep last night. I was doing, pre uh, I was preparing a uh, presentation before I went live on Swivelhead News. Uh, and I had to get up early to give a presentation. Colonel Cole was in the house at the presentation. I did it at NARPNET called Bug Out Living. And I will try to bring that video to you guys on this channel. But I don't think it's that risky of a video. I will record it and, up, and upload it. So that won't be a live session. Uh, petroleum through the... Oh, yeah, Bitcoin's crashing. Oh, you may have Bitcoin went to 70 and all this talk about it going up. Let's see, last time I looked, it dropped down uh, almost uh, what 62,000. Let's see, what is it right now? Uh, is it still dropping? Had a sudden big downturn. Oh yeah, it's a sixty-four. It made a it had a bounce back, but not much on Bitcoin. I don't know if you guys can see this. All the cryptos are in red, and it's not focusing good. They're all in red and all down sharp. It's not focusing, but um, people are panicking. Markets are liable to panic. The markets are really built on a house of cards. In it, we're just house of cards built on a shoal of sand next to the beach where the waves are coming in and you know that we've had a real speculative bubble in the uh, stock market um yeah i just expect all that to go down um just shared my x page okay cf dooley um uh, uh jeb nell seven i did not expect this going away no it's just getting hotter that's what i've been telling you guys it's like the people the leaders of the world are wanting this i mean Israel, when they struck the uh, consulate, which is an embassy ground, and, uh, you know, they knew that they were directly attacking Iranian territory. They knew what that place was, and they knew the Iranians would respond. And that looks like you know, some little thing to the, in the eyes and optics to a lot of people in the world. But that was directly more or less inviting an attack from uh, Iran. Iran now has followed through. Uh, Israel has pledged uh, earlier that if Iran attacks, that they're going to attack back, and you can expect counterattacks. Uh, uh, the escalation is in the cards. How fast it's going, uh, as I mentioned, you guys uh, a couple of videos back over on Swivelhead News, that there was a simulation about an Iranian-Israeli war, which said it went nuclear almost immediately. Uh, you know, given how deep everything is buried in Iran. Just going over there with some, dropping J dams, you know, the big bunker busters just isn't going to probably reach the targets uh, that are buried in the ground. Hey, we got a super chat. I appreciate that. So uh, let's see who gave us the super chat. Tracy Broken Wings, salute to you. Thank you very much, Tracy Broken Wings. That's what keeps me going, especially for these live sessions, because it's going to get demonetized. That's probably the only thing I'll earn on this video. I uh, expect it to be, dis they, they demonetized the one I did last night immediately, just as soon as I posted it. You know, it's really, uh, these other channels, like I said, can go on and yap about this stuff and more and show you more pointy stuff than I'm showing, say more pointy words, and it's A-OK. -okay. So I feel like I'm being discriminated against by the platform. i like to know why. And I find a way to contact YouTube and ask them, just, just why are you hitting me so hard? Why? But I try to keep everything within the guidelines. Now, they don't want controversial topics. Well, there's lots of other people pointing about war. How can you be a news channel in the midst of World War III and not say the word war? Huh? Other channels do it all the time, and they're fine. So why's it not fine here? I'm not showing gore. I'm not showing mayhem. I don't show direct attacks or vi direct violence. Uh, you know, that video had missiles in the air that were being intercepted. Nobody was harmed by any of those attacks from Hezbollah. There was no personal or physical harm known of. Yet that video got monetized. I've appealed it. We'll see what happens. It'll take seven days sometimes to, you know, review to appeal something. In the world of the news cycle, that's eternity. The, the news is dead by the time they turn. You know, th these articles like this, are, these kind of posts are only good for a few hours. So. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that don't work for us news channels. That does not work at all. So, 
Anyway. Yeah, Colonel Call says, here we go. You shared on my X page. Thank you, CF Dooley, for sharing our content. That's what we need. Because uh, the, the, this, you know, we got a few hundred people in the chat room. It should be thousands. I got 67,000 subs. I see channels with a fraction the size of mine getting way more views than I get all the time. So thank you for sharing. That's the only way we're going to get the word out. If you guys share on X, Facebook, wherever you can share, please share my content, guys, because I I, I need your help here. I am. Uh, so they're being bombed. Yeah, with they're, they are under attack. The incoming cruise missiles, uh, incoming drones. Well, drones were launched first. Cruise missiles next. Well, first they launched a cyber attack. Then they launched the drones. Then they launched the cruise missiles. And now, according to one source, the ballistic missiles are in the air. So you can, it, it may already be impacting over there. It's just minutes away now. Just minutes. Once you launch those cruise uh, ballistic missiles, impact time is in minutes. I expect they're probably already striking. Limited to three gallons of gas. Yeah, you won't make it across the country on three gallons of gas. I may not make it back to Arizona. I don't know. I really didn't want to be stuck here this long. But due to repairs on my van and other things I had to go through, it really knocked me out. Amir Tisparti. I don't know, Trigger, whose channel is that? What kind of channel is that? Let's see what your previous post was. And scroll back too far. Anyway, um, Ben Rich, Greg, uh, asking about the thirty-five days. Hmm. I don't know. It sure looks like it. Randall Hill, not good. Sophia, hello. Brenda Turner, yes, I watched Amir. I don't know Amir. Moon Goon, thanks for coming online, Greg. Thank you for the compliment there. Grace says, Jesus Christ is king. Lisa Bradley, that's when the first small cars got 45 to 50 miles per gallon. Yep, I remember that. I actually had a, a little Datsun that got 50 miles a gallon. It was like a five-speed transmission. It was small as get all get out. Some woman pulled in front of me and stopped. And there was incoming traffic and a big ditch on the other side, and I hit her. And it busted her taillight. It put a little crease. She's in one of these big Chrysler land yachts. Put a little crease where her uh, on her uh, hood on the trunk where it made a sharp turn. A little crease there, just a tiny little crease. Busted her Totaled my car. My, the one that got 50 miles a gallon. Oh, I hated it. That thing was so sweet to drive long distance because it just it was just siphoned gas. Very little. Very little. Rodney, thank you for sharing uh, the Survival Tribe Network. Guys, you guys aren't joining. Why not? Why have y'all not been forming your, your mutual assistance groups? What are ballistic missiles, Loif? Ballistic missiles are the big ones that fly up in a, a arc. They launch straight up. And then their momentum carries them as they come down to impact. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, like Russia will launch at the United States, are ballistic missiles. That's the big boys. That's the most deadly ones. That's the ones that come in the quickest. That's why I said, once you launch those, those are minutes. Drones take hours. Cruise missiles take are faster, but they're still like, you know, best a jet plane. Uh, but ballistic missiles, minutes. Big payloads. Very destructive. Takes a more much more sophisticated anti-missile system. The uh, Iron Dome is probably not up to challenge for that. David Slingshot may take some out, but that's mostly going to be a job for the aero missile defense there in Israel. Gold to the moon. That wouldn't surprise me. I bet gold has shot up. I've been telling you guys to buy gold. I've been posting that on here. 
All my nugs are full and ready to regurgitate, says Dr. Jekyll. Uh, ballistic missiles differ in range, short range. But yeah, there's different types of ballistic missiles. There's short range, intermediate, and intercontinental. So I would suppose is that what uh, Iran is firing is the uh, uh, intermediate range missiles. What do you say here? Short range and uh, intercontinental. Yeah, there's like three different scales of them. Jason Smith. So we got Brian in here. Yeah, we got people in here because I'm usually late. So a lot of you guys are now able to, to, to join the live session. I'm not usually in here this early. No cameras on DC to watch if COG happens. I don't know. I'm not really tied into big camera network. I mean, I can go online and search for them. I haven't got all that dialed up. But yeah, the, the COG may be in progress. If anybody's in the DC area and has any intel, you'd expect to see helicopters running up and down the Potomac River. If you're seeing that, if there's anybody in the area, then you know the COG is in process. Progress. Uh, uh, Jason Avery, Green Country Agroforestry. We just got six months more of water filters on our manual pump. That's a good move. Rain catchment, yeah. Power may be heading out. We may lose our power, guys. Jesse Mills from Northeast Arizona, my neighborhood out there. Hope I can get out there, Jesse. I don't know where everything's going down. No apologies there, Notman's wife. Glad you were able to join us. Yeah, people are doing their daytime activities right now. Why is crypto crashing? People are panicking. I don't know. You'd think it would go up. But, you know, it, it may just be a panic. But it is going down. It may rebound. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this thing skipped real fast. I just saw a comment. Try to look at it, and it jumped way down on me. Ah, la, la. There we are. Larry says a defense official tells Army Radio that more than 100 Iranian drones have already been intercepted outside of Israel airspace. Uh, yeah, I would expect, you know, the first salvo is going to be intercepted, especially drones. That's why if you're launching drones, it may be just so that they'll expend their missile uh, so that the ballistic missiles can get through. It may be kind of like the attack from Hezbollah, uh, just to launch a bunch of drones and let Israel fire them, waste the missiles. Just like we've been playing whack-a-mole out of our good assets against the Houthis, uh, rather than uh, have them stored to say to deal with China. Uh, dog food up over fifteen percent. Yeah, we can expect inflation in everything right now, especially if oil spiked. Everything's going up. There's nothing, nothing the Federal Reserve can do about inflation. That's tied to a lack of supply and shortages. No raising interest rates is going to cause the demand. You know, that is inflation is always demand driven. Uh, it's also driven by shortages. And no amount of trying to squeeze demand is going to help in that event. There's nothing that can be done by the Fed, Federal Reserve. Israel's representative of the United Nations will request an emergency meeting of the Security Council. Well, yeah, I'm sure that's in order right now. Yeah. Uh, Yowzer Doink Asaurus. <laughs> uh, well, it's just strange how they beat on my channel. I don't know why. I don't know why but this channel should be way larger than it is. It should get way more views. But if they don't send out notifications, you guys are always telling me I didn't get notification. I get it from you guys all the time. A lot of you guys tell me you've been unsubscribed. Arnold as long as the financial institutions are using fake paper money, that fiat stuff, credit out of thin air, every bank, stock market, bond house is nothing but an illusion. Well, there you go. Designed for the growth of slavery. Halo from uh, Corner Brook, Newfoundland. I appreciate all your info. Thanks. All right, Marcense. Good to see you. Juanita. All right. Code five. They don't monetize the truth around here. Well, ain't that the truth? And all they want, you know, I got, I got a rabbit farm. I should just do videos on fuzzy bunny rabbits, and that would be totally safe. If I had kept the content here to just worms, 
that would be totally safe. There's only so many videos you can do on how to raise worms. Once you put the basics out, it's out there. Uh, <clears throat> I could do videos like some channel just showing worms eating watermelons. and Those get tons of views. They just post a camera, put a watermelon in a aquarium full of worms and it gets eight down. And those guys aren't even selling worms. They got tiny little amount of worms and they get tons of views. That's what I ought to be doing. Just doing videos of worms eating watermelons and squash and such. I don't know. I thought about that. <laughs> Maybe that's what this channel will evolve to. And I'll take all this news over to Swivelhead News. You can expect Swivelhead. I, I will still talk about prep stuff. They don't seem to hit me too hard on the, on pure prepping content. But that, I, don't, I don't think that's what people want. They don't too much want to see that. Just the war news is what people have been going for for the last two years. Space Force watching, you bet they are. You bet they are. What did Thor say? I missed it. I scrolled past it. Thor, don't live in fear. Don't worry about bunkers and stop piling things. Just your old life and make the most of every day. Well, you need to do as best as you can, but I would still be ready. Be prepared. So you're going to be caught your britches down. But don't be scared. Be prepared. I've always said that. But if you're not prepared, it's just like we had a tornado knock that power here for a week. And a lot of people were suffering, didn't have this, didn't have that. Well, I had my camp stoves. I had my, my bottles of gas. I had uh, I got went up, I had to go all the way to Bowling Green to find a workable generator. But I had the means to keep my refrigerators going and run my microwave. Thanks to that generator, which is worn out right now. I'm trying to get it repaired. But the repair work is like everything else I'm trying to get done, like a race of snails. Um, elites are starting uh, are starting the crashing of currencies plus other distraction from the gold issues and the uh, falling economy. Yeah, they need some distractions. Well, they got a major distraction now. Big distraction. Yeah, at this point, in, at this point, our ability to influence what's going on outside is getting diminishingly small in a hurry. Not as I is you want to change your channel over to entertainment. Uh <laughs> might have to do that just to stay on the platform for this. But I got to find some venue to bring it. Drone shot down by U.S. A cigar prepper, prepper. Is that the latest word? I'll have to research the news again. Hit the news cycle. Yeah, what's the source on that? As Rodney asked. Uh, well, you know, Biden said that we would support Israel. We do have assets in the area. So that could be happening. It's possible. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Of course, that means we are engaged. And it's just a matter of time because we got, we're got we moving our assets over. We're intended to be part of that, according to a lot of systems. So just expect it. If it ain't now, it's liable to be soon. Val talking to Thor. Y'all remember when there was a guy that claimed to be a, an alien? He he went by the, and he actually went to Congress. He was actually in Capitol Hill, and his name was Valiant Thor. This was like in the late fifties, maybe. You know, does anybody remember Valiant Thor? So now we got somebody named Val talking to Thor. <laughs> wow, interesting. However, he says uh, true at Thor. However, we're most likely headed toward hyperinflation. If you, yeah stockpiling is a hedge against hyperinflation. If you bought that food ahead of time, if you can buy things right now online while the prices are still down, now's the time to do it. Now would be a good time to go to prep with Greg uh, with a dot in it. And uh, I'm going to spell it backwards so the platform won't hit me on this. MOC. Flip it around like Nug, right? Uh, you know, that might be time to do it. And I got a, real, a really good price on... Uh, a, a solar power system, uh, you know, a small one you use for your vehicles and things like that, your bug out vehicle, uh, better than a lot cheaper than what I paid for what I got on my van. A lot cheaper. And it's a better system because it's got the LiPo 4 batteries and like the lithium ion in that jackery I got, which is a piece of junk. I wish uh, I'd known more about it before I got it. Jesus never advocated revenge, 70 times seven for each individual. So, yeah, but this is how countries operate. Bilbo T. Baggins. Oh, we got a Bilbo T. Baggins in the house. Wow. <laughs> I've been using Walmart 
plus in the last week to top off my store bought food. That's a good move. If you got a Sam's Club or you got a, what's the other one? It's Costco. It may be time. Yeah, I'm, there's probably there's probably a crowd in there. The toilet paper preppers are probably uh, in full tilt right now. Uh, there may be no more toilet paper for months to come. I hope you know how to use leaves. <laughs> I did a video talking about a certain kind of bush. Here it goes here in the southeast. It's a wild laurel of types, that mountain laurel, wood laurel. It's got an oak leaf leaf on it. That's the best toilet paper you'll ever get. Um, there, there are more Israeli uh, American jets in the sky than there are incoming drones. Well, that would die some B-210. Now, mine wasn't a B-210. I know I can't remember exactly what it was. B-210s were real popular. It was a different. It was one of them. Uh, it was, had, there was less of them out there. I forget what it was, but that thing got uh, gas mileage. Better than anything you've ever seen. It wasn't a B210. It was another model, and I can't remember what it was. Am I almost down to the bottom of the chat room? I am. My oil look, these little events of barges and bridges on our soil are just subtle so far. That's now that's true. Val, that is true. Uh, you can expect lots of bigger things to start going down immediately. Just be prepared. All manner of whatever is liable to break out just any time. Uh, air raid alerts, not air raids. Uh, yeah, if you got mulling growing around, it might be time to gather it. Uh, well, mulling will be just starting to come up. There's a lot of mulling growing up. I've seen some huge mulling growing on roadsides up around Sholo. Yeah, it makes a good toilet paper, too. Best toilet paper is soap and water. <laughs> Bilbo, the cat that rings the doorbell. He's a celebrity, uh, probably that will wind up making more money than all the rest of us. Oh, uh, finding deals on fish and stuff at Walmart clearance aisle. Well, if you might want to be there right now, Dotson 510. I don't remember what it was, Tiffany. Train the worms to deliver the news. <laughs> that little pink and blue wigs on them. There you go. Uh, Explosions in the Syrian capital in Damascus. Well, that don't surprise me. Val, well, I discovered these little pellet toilet paper towels. Oh, yeah, the Canadian prepper sent me some of those. It's free. <laughs> he used to joke about them being toilet paper pills, like you'd take them and it'd wipe everything as it goes out. No, you don't want to take them. That would put you in, so probably in the hospital, probably surgery to get those things removed from your intestines. Don't swallow those things. <laughs> it was a joke you put out, but do not swallow those. Because when they get wet, they're going to go poof. <laughs> Expand dramatically. You do not want that in your intestines. But they do look like you know, pills, but they're pretty big. and a little big to swallow, but holy smoke, guys. Uh, Larry Smith. Interception of missiles and drones in the sky. Jordan Capital. Oh, why are they in Jordanian? Okay, so it looks like we got a lot more than Iran launching. So we don't need to know uh, your habits. Oh, <laughs> news live. This is a family channel, people. That's right. Let's keep it family here. Dixie Doodles. All right, guys. So we got 302 in the house. I can uh, scan back and see if any of these articles have updated. Uh, let me do a refresh on some of these. That has not updated. Yeah, if I play stuff live from X, that is definitely that definitely causes a hit here. Wow, if I just refresh X, I get sports news. Jeez. Sports news. I don't give a fig about sports. It's nothing but a distraction. Bread and circuses. Iranians celebrate as Iran attacks Israel. That's one of the headlines I'm saying. Iranians are celebrating. That celebration will probably not be long lived. Oh. Sky over Jerusalem full as... Uh, yeah, okay. We got one here, guys. They are incoming. Uh, I'm going to do a share here. It is... They are arriving. So I'm going to share screen. It's probably going to get me in trouble.
Wow, those intercepts are occurring close. Those intercepts were very close. Oh, looks like some stuff may be getting through. Look over here. Some of these may be getting through. Hear the, the air raid sirens in the background. That one missed. The interceptor missed. Yeah. Looks like some of these are getting through if this video is accurate. That is not good. That may mean that the uh, Israeli defense system may have been oversaturated. And that would be the tactic that uh, Iran would want to follow would be to oversaturate the Israeli defense missile defense system. Let's try to do a update here on Al Jazeera. See what pops up. Iran says the drone missile attack launch. That's nothing new. Six minutes ago, Iran strikes on Israel. Unprecedented escalation. Sirens and air defense intercepts in Tel Aviv. Residents uh, instructed to, to, uh, the residents of high risk areas are told to stay close to bomb shelters. They should be in their bomb shelters. So let's see what this article has. Rand strikes on Israel, unprecedented escalation. We already know that. The EU strongly condemns the unacceptable Iranian attack against Israel. Uh, this is unprecedented. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> this is kind of redundant. That is a redundant statement. If you don't know that to be true, then where's your head at? Jeez. Let's see what the Jerusalem Post has got. What's their latest? They've not updated. There have been major cyber attacks on Israel. It may impact the ability of these this stuff to get out, the news to get out. I'm sure they're all outside or in their bomb, bomb shelters. So some of the news may not be coming forth as fast. All right, this 4X Live video shows air defense active just above Israel. Siren sound reports of explosions. Ah, oh, Iran says the matter can be deemed concluded. They've had their strike back. Bitcoin, Bitcoin plunges. I already reported that. I beat them to that announcement. All right, guys. Well, Iran may say it's been concluded, but Israel will strike back again. Israel will strike back again. Jordanian jets shoot dozens of Iranian drones flying across northern and central Jordan, heading to Israel. Two regional security sources from according to Reuters. Well, that's interesting. I'll have to look at Reuters here in a minute. I should get some news feeds from Reuters. So, um, I don't know, guys. Let me check my email. I won't put that live. I do subscribe to Reuters. Uh, Sometimes I hadn't seen anything from them lately. Maybe they dropped me. But they were sending me lots of articles for a while. Uh, no, I don't have anything from Reuters at the moment. Um I will bring an article in here from Reuters in a minute. Uh, let's see if these others have updated. So this is already, this is ongoing. The missiles are there at Israel. They are apparently impacting. This is a cyber attack article. It may limit what's coming out of Israel news-wise for a bit. Uh, Yes, military, not concerned. What a stupid article. What a stupid article. What a stupid claim there. I don't, guys. It's just nuts. All right, so let me try to put this Reuters article in here, the Reuters headlines. All 
Uh, yeah, this is old. The headline, they've not updated. So they may be posting some stuff elsewhere, but their main site here, Reuters main website, really don't have in certain markets are down. There's a couple up. Hmm. That's not a live feed. <coughs> anyway, folks, there's no point in beating this horse at the moment. We know what's gone down. We know there's been quite a barrage attack on Israel. Iran is now claiming, apparently, that they've satisfied their revenge for this strike on the uh, embassy. But as if that well, we're done, it's over. Y'all think it's over? If, if, do y'all think Israel is not going to hit back? Thank you, uh, Judy. Uh, expect me to go live again on Slow Ahead News tonight. This is not content I should be posting on this channel. I went here because I reached out more people faster on this channel. But this kind of content on this channel puts the existence of this channel at risk on YouTube. I don't know why. It's okay for other channels to talk this stuff ad infinitum. And they have no problem. But, but uh, the platform has been slamming me for this kind of content. So it's probably going to, I'm going to have to do this over and swirl ahead and use for later. So expect, you know, there's going to be your damage assessments. Uh, and then there will be some kind of counter attack, most likely from Israel. When's it going to be? What's the next shoe to drop? Nobody's been this de escalating anything. JR Token, how are you doing? Iran launched a bunch of teenage punks acting like they have last word. Um, here in cover, Iranian report another barrage of surface to, to surface ballistic missiles was launched a short time ago. Okay, and they say, oh, we're done, and they launch more, and it sounds like Putin. No, we're not going to go into uh, Ukraine. In fact, we're pulling our forces back, you know, just a few hours before they invaded. We're pulling our forces back. We're going home. Guys, we're in a fog of war. Deception is the name of the game in war. So you don't do, you know, you don't announce what you're going to do, and you don't do what you say you're going to do. You do something else. That's the way wars prosecute. Syrian media, Syrian air defense has shot down some missiles near Damascus International Airport. Are those Iranian missiles? Now, Syria is on the side of Iran. So they're probably shooting down Israeli missiles. So is Israel attacking into Syria? There's a lot we're not seeing yet. The news here is uh, in the fog of war. The uh, Israelis have been under a massive cyber attack, so what we're getting out of there is probably limited. We will probably see more soon, and we're probably going to see more missiles. We're probably going to see a counter-strike. I don't know what the next shoot drop is, so it's been reported that there's been another uh, uh, salvo of missiles launched, according to one of our chatters here. We shall see, but guys... We're in a time of difficulty. It is uh, hitting the fan. So what are historians going to record as the beginning of World War III? Will it be uh, February 22nd of uh, 2022? When uh, I believe that was the date, if I'm right, that uh, is that when Russia went into Ukraine? Will it be back when Crimea was taken? Will it be the overthrow of the president of Ukraine? Will it be October the 7th? of last year? Will it be the date of April the 1st when Israel hit the embassy? Or will it be today? On the 13th of April. On the 13th of April in 1996, I launched a, a uh, ground launch diversion of the rocket that we uh, that I got the Space Pioneer Award for. Our Halo Ground Launch 1 rocket was launched today 
in uh, today's date in 1996, April 13th, 1996, over uh, Big Field in uh, Manchester, Tennessee, hit about 30,000 feet from the ground. It was a forerunner of our Halo SL-1 rocket, Space Launch 1 rocket, which got me this Space Pioneer Award. So it was just uh, about a year and a month. That rocket was launched on 11 May, 1998. So I've had my history of launching rockets. Um, so this is kind of an anniversary to me. Greg, Greg, do you use a water distiller? What kind? No, Val, I wished I had one. I saw one for sale. On, uh, right now, my money is limited. I've, I've, I've consumed almost all my money staying here without work, without a job. Uh, I had meant to be out here sooner. The money I meant to use to set up solar and all kind of stuff in Arizona, it's gone. Uh, I've used it. To, I got to sell this place. I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here fast. I may not be able to. Uh, it may be that it's already too late. I may be stuck. Uh, but I do have preps if that happens. I can kind of hold my own a little bit till the zombies come out. This place is building communities uh, all around here. Uh, but, you know, in terms of a prepper property, I got one of the best you can have. I got gardens and all kinds of stuff out here. I can grow stuff. I already got a lot of stuff growing. It's more of a trade garden. I got a lot of garlic growing. I can trade that for something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Kim jong Un will love you, Greg. Woody. <laughs> Pretty big uh, worm. Why would he love me? Anyway, we have been at war since uh, January of 2020. Yeah, there's it's, there's been several steps of escalation over the years, and it's picking up in frequency. This is really it, guys. When you've got uh, two nation states like uh, Iran and Israel get into it directly, not through proxies, uh, when you got a direct attack, missile attack from one country to the other, and it could be said on April the 1st, the attack on the consulate in uh, Syria was such an attack. Uh, so Iran now has launched a major attack on Israel. There have been a lot of intercepts. Maybe some of it got through. It looked like some of that was getting through from the video I saw. Uh, the news on this is scant right now. Rockets, yes, rockets. And a lot of that stuff is coming in on rockets. And rockets are providing a lot of the defense. I worked on the defense rocket system myself with the Ares Project Office. That's the calendar we had. It was Strategic Defense Initiative Office. Uh, back then, I was working on the Ares Project Office. That was that was being headed up at the time by Ambassador Hank Cooper. He was the head of a Pentagon level Star Wars program launched by Ronald Reagan. And I've interviewed him on this channel. And I've not seen any other YouTube channel interview an ambassador. <laughs> So I've had very high level people on this channel. Lots of them, yet we're tiny over here. Very tiny. Uh, his wife passed away. He didn't want to interview for a while. He might be willing to come back on. But anyway, uh, United States Air Force to send instructions for the operations through messages. Uh, yeah, you can bet the EAMs are probably going off the charts right now. Other countries too. Uh, Sky... Sky King messages, Heron cover, Reuters, the Jordanian shot down dozens of drones. Yeah, somebody's already reported that. Uh, I wonder why it's not on this, their main website. Uh, how do y'all think, Greg? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're staying frosty here. Uh, Larry Smith, several Iranian drones flying toward Israel were intercepted over the skies of Ibril, likely by U.S. air defense. That's quite likely if it was over Ibril because we have assets there. We know that Ibril has been attacked by the Iranian proxies many times. Um, uh, hosers moved to Arizona and leave the dishes for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here. Big worm. I made a rocket in jail once out of a match tips and a tube from a big pen. <laughs> yeah, that will work. Uh, I do. I did know a guy who was building him a, a match head rocket and he blew his, it actually caused an explosion in his basement. I think it, one of his friends ceased to exist at that point and blew a couple of fingers off of his hand. His name was uh, uh, Mark Hopkins. He's passed away recently. He was a, one of the big dudes in the National Space Society for a long time, Mark Hopkins. Uh, remember, folks, the devil is everybody's enemy. Yes. All right, Linda Moses, uh, Mike Brown, Green. What 
info can you give us about the effectiveness of Iron Dome, David Sling, and Arrow 3 defense missiles? Yeah, uh, John 1, John, if I mention that word, the video will be taken off air. I can't even mention the name of that ship. I did it once. And YouTube, oh, they nearly put me in jail. That is a forbidden topic on this channel, on this platform. Yeah, they really spanked me hard for that. So sugar rockets, that's true. I'm reading the fighting is over. Well, that's what the Iranians just said, but somebody said they've launched another salvo. So uh, you can expect Israel will launch back. And then Iran will retaliate for that. So I don't think it's over. If you think it's over, put a one in the chat room. Let's see what people really think. You think it's over now? If you think it's over, put a one in the chat room. If you don't think it's over, put a two in the chat room. Let's see what you guys think real fast. So if you're just joining us, catch it on the rewind. I've shown video. Uh, I've shown lots of news articles claiming that hundreds, some claimed hundreds of drones, some claimed uh, the cruise missiles got launched after the drones. See, the drones take the longest, the cruise missiles go faster, and then ballistic missiles came in after that, all kind of derived at the same time. There was a bit, bit of a video on X that showed a lot of this stuff over the skies, real heavily over Israel, and um, it looked like some of it was getting through. Now, I was asked about the effectiveness of, uh, and nobody thinks it's over. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys. It's hard to believe it's over. Hard to believe it's over. Well, we'll get damage assessments and fall out of this. These reports will be coming in over the next few hours. And Israel probably won't retaliate immediately, although they might. It's possible. But, you know, you don't want to do things when the enemy expects because they're ready for that. You want to do what they're not ready for. I say enemy. If, if somebody is your enemy, I'm trying not to take sides here, but I'm, I'm not in favor of the mullahs. But Israel is not without blame either. Uh, I think all governments are evil, <laughs> even city councils. Uh, I think all governments are evil to the core, every single government on earth. Uh, just about every one of them. There might be a couple small towns that's not. <laughs> Show me a government that's not full of corruption and nepotism. The bigger they get, the worse they get. So that's why we need term limits. We need to return to citizen governance. So uh, if it's over now, all hay did not, was waste a bunch of money. It's not over, I don't think. Prepared, not scared. That's right, Dixie Doodle. So guys, I assume Costco and Sam's Club are going to have a run on toilet paper. I hope you got your toilet paper. <laughs> uh, yeah, there will be a run on other stuff, but toilet paper, paper towels. You know, all that stuff's about to go poof. <laughs> yeah, it's all about to go poof. No more toilet paper. Probably for months. Remember, we couldn't get toilet paper for months when the <coughs> bug went around. Uh, gasoline is liable to go up just in anticipation of the Hormuz Strait getting shut down. Just the speculative nature of the markets. So we can expect there's a good chance that if the, if the Strait of Hormuz is shut down as 20% of the world's petroleum. If uh, if it reaches the point that Iran decides to trigger their sleeper cells here in America, we're, we're practically done. That will be horrendous. That's absolute hits the fan. And you, you know, the, the net effect is like being nuked. It's, it may not, it won't be immediate, but it's going to, yeah, the grid down. Once those, uh, the fuel runs out for the, uh, being able to keep the, the uh, coolant pulls for the spent fuel rods at the new plants cool, we are in serious, deep kimchi. Talk about that quite a bit. So, hey, new days, good to see you in here. We'll have more oil under America. We have some here. We got plenty here, but the prices will still go up because the marketplace is global. Every time you see a shortage over there, it, price goes up here. And that's what uh, President Taterhead was fussing about with uh, Ukraine hitting the refineries in Russia. 
Russia retaliated and hit power plants massively in Ukraine, including a natural gas storage facility, the largest one in Europe. So natural gas is going to be in very short supply in Europe. And President Taterhead and his administration stopped the development of one of our uh, transportation uh, hub, uh, ports that we were in, about to build here to send that liquid natural gas over there because of the green movement. So Europe is not going to be a good place to be. And the Mideast is a terrible place to be right now. It's it's hit the fan all over. So I assume $5 super chest. This, this video is probably all we're getting here that uh, this video will most likely be demonetized immediately. Although I have done nothing, said nothing. It's truly outside of the realms of the criteria that they, uh, YouTube post. Except it is controversial. War is always controversial, but tons of channels cover it. How can you not cover the news? How can you cover the news and not cover war today, this day and time? I don't know. But it's okay on other channels. Other channels can say anything they want to, practically. Seemingly. They get monetized. They don't have any issues. So you tell me why that is. Uh, when the bug hit, I had already phased out the old toilet tissue. Baby wipes and pallet loads had already been taken in place. There you go. Yep. Germany, uh, Iranian strikes in Israel may plunge their region into chaos. Oh, yeah. yeah you're going to see chaos throughout Europe and uh, and uh, the Mideast. Petrol here in my town and uh, QLD Australia is 177 a liter. Uh, and 100 kilometers away, it's 220 per liter. Wow. Rodney, all U.S. POTUS are chosen through their bud lines. Hmm. There's a lot of claims of that nature. Uh, here in uh, cover, wow, the price of an ounce of silver maple is now Canadian. $3,090. What? $3,390. Ron Prandy, thank you. You're the Viking poet. Save America. I mean, <laughs> salute you, Brian. Appreciate it. All righty. Other channels push the yeah, Democrats' mantra for war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of them do. A lot of them do. They talk about war good. War good. Some of them do. War is not good. There's nothing good about war. It's mayhem. It's pandemonium. Guys, we're on the cusp. Technology that could extend human lifetime dramatically, the health span dramatically. A lot of new technologies come to the forefront that could be good. But we may never see it thanks to all the knucklehead stuff going on. No, I meant gold maple. Okay. Um, not too far from you, Greg. Uh, in West Georgia. Okay, it's good to hear Mike Brown. All righty, Linda Moses, a uh, family of mine in Idaho, worry about nuclear installations. Well, they're just uh, they're just west of all of our intercontinental ballistic missiles, our SAC forces, our B-52 bombers, Monon Air Force Base, and all those others up in there. If we get into full-scale nuclear war, those areas will be pummeled, pummeled, if we go full-scale. Yeah, Alaska for me, it, I don't think it's over. Earthquake weapons. There's, yeah, there's a lot of earthquakes going down right now. Anyway, gold isn't being traded. What? It's been traded pretty heavy. If, um, hang on, guys. Let's go look at. I'm not sure how current the father grid is on their post of the price of gold. Oh, it's up some. Yes, sir. Let's see, gold spot market. I used to have links I'd pull up all the time on that. Can't type. There we go. Well, they're pretty close. All right, let's look at this, guys. I'm going to do share screen again. Ding, 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 ding. Let me make sure I got the right screen. We go over here. It's at $2,342. That's just down a little bit. Yeah, it had a real big spike. Uh, expected uh, to keep going up. Uh, they claim that the people that had the paper gold 
kind of forced the price back down a little bit because China is buying gold heavily. So here they're showing 2,345.72 on Defy the Grid. I highly encourage you guys to check out Defy the Grid because they got a deal here. It says, if you find a better price somewhere else, call us today and we'll meet it or beat it. If you go to Defy the Grid, use the code Green Griggs and you'll get 1% off. That's right. Thank you, Rodney, for posting that. Yes, New Days, and that's a way to donate to me directly. I will check my email to see if I've got anything. You know, I don't have my phone plugged in. Uh, Michelle is not in here. Michelle does that a lot. It's hard to get through to Nathan Arnold. It's hard to get through, Nathan. All right, so um, let me see here. I'm not showing anything in my email. Let me go straight into PayPal. Let's see if I got anything through here. Because I like to give people credit. So if there's nothing. Oh, uh, Michelle. Yeah, she made a good donation on the 12th. All right. She gave me a $20 donation. Big one. Come on, folks. Let's get 300 likes for again. Yeah, let's get the most likes we can put on here. Uh, we really need likes on my channel. I need you guys to comment to the channel. I need you guys to comment against other people's comments. We got 333 likes I'm showing. That's good. Very good. So uh, Judy says, Jason, I love the white web between layers of leaves. Okay, yeah, that would be the... Uh, uh, fungal mat growing in there, mycorrhizae, uh, cash out of stock market. Yeah, I would think that might be a good move. A lot of people are probably thinking the same thing. Monitoring 8992 USB for EAMs. Uh, what are you hearing here in cover? I expect the EAMs are probably off the chart. One injury is reported from shrapnel fall from the sky. Well, if that's all they've suffered, they're doing good. Because there was certainly a lot of shrapnel falling from the sky. But, you know, if you look at a city, you see a lot of buildings and streets, but then look where the acts are human beings. You know, they're not all packed in like this. You know, there's there's a lot of still vacant space, even in a dense city. But if you get explosive stuff hitting the ground, you're going to get a lot more injuries. Yes, it was nice to see after so many years that the mods are finally, yeah, yeah, new days you finally got them trained. Yeah, New Day's Chewy Weather said it was nice to see what the Queen Mod looked like when we did the live with the Eclipse video <laughs> over on Galactic Gregs. So if you guys want to see New Day's, check out the live uh, Eclipse video we did on Galactic Gregs. Lots of EMs over the past several days right now, hearing only a few per hours. Yeah, there were they were real intense the last few days, that I know. Uh, green Country, we aren't quite to, uh, let's see, let me stop this here. Hey, hello. He says, we aren't, we aren't quite to a measure of wheat for a few days wages, but I would make sure I wasn't depending on money to eat. Good move. Uh, once upon a tide, tide, like roll tide. Thank you and community for answering this important question. Brian says, I haven't done my taxes yet. I mean, neither. Uh, the AMs are running on each other. Mini Global says, Judy. All right, Dallas Homestead. Yeah, we got some more of you mods need to follow Rodney and New Days. And there's a, there's a few of you that are posting links, so more of you guys need to get about that. Mike Brown says, God will watch over Israel. Well, let's have to see what's going to go down here, guys. You can expect we're going to be into it. Um, he did permit the Romans to take Israel down. Or it was uh, Judea back in the day. Um, yeah, New Days has been burning the candle at both ends, sleeping almost none. And that's been kind of my game here lately, too. I didn't get any sleep last night. Boy, I was about to pass out earlier. 
<sighs> so, guys, get ready. Get ready. If you're not prepared, you better you better shore your preps up as best you can while you can. Shore them up while you can. Do whatever you can do. Go to your stores, but there's probably going to be a run on everything right now. It's, you'll probably be lucky to find anything. I don't know when it's going to happen here in the States like it did. And during the, you know, the, the, the run on the toilet paper happened a lot earlier than I thought it would. I was really surprised. So I remember the world, we just watched American Israel get a big win here. Yeah, they did stop a lot of that stuff. I don't will stop. I expect Israel will, will probably strike back and then Iran will strike back. This is a feud. It's going to, yeah, I see nothing but escalation. Yeah, some of the mods in here do very actively post links for other channels. And this new day is points out. So uh, help me out here, folks. That would help. All righty. Folks, I think we're, uh, we, we beat this horse. I've covered the news as best as we know it. There will be more coming out later. There'll be uh, damage assessments and uh, all kinds of posturing and threats and counter threats and speculation. Uh, the fog of war is upon us. We've been on here for 76 minutes, senior Israeli officials. We intercepted 99%. Yeah, we, we did see a few get through. Uh, yeah, I was asked earlier about the effectivity of the uh, Arrow and the uh, Iron Dome and David Sling. They have been very effective. Very effective, but they are also very expensive, and there's just so many of them. Iran has gobs of missiles, so Iran could oversaturate it, probably, most likely. So Craigslist is in the house. <laughs> Putin, too. All right. So, um, Dixie, just thank you, everyone, your trusted source of knowledge. I try to be Dixie Doodles. I try to bring it to you. As it's happening, and I try to bring it to you without spin. I try to let you guys know what's going down. I'm trying not to take sides on a lot of stuff that's going down just because it kind of keeps some of the spin out of it. Uh, I do wax conservative on a lot of topics, and that's probably one of the reasons that the platform beats on me hard. Uh, Panda land won't need to invade America's broken out of armaments and to spread out. Well, that's their hope. Get us spread out. We're $34 trillion in debt. We've, we're expending a lot of expensive missiles playing whack a mole with the Houthis, and yet the Red Sea is still shut down. So, what good's it done? It's just depleted our reservoir, or something we might need if we have to deal with China. And it looks like we're in this. Thank you for posting that, Rodney. So, Bolt Gun says, uh, Thank you for your channel and time, brother. All right, folks. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Super Chatters. Salute each and every one of you. Thank you, uh, Mods, for what you're doing. And just thank you, everybody, for being here, especially those that have shared the content. Continue to share it, please. Yeah, my channel is being uh, uh, stomped real hard by the platform here. Anything you guys can do will help. April, you're not going into it, right? It does work. Uh, some people say that, but there's something. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but I've always I've been hearing that for years, but I keep getting super chats through PayPal from people all the time. So uh, there's just it's how you're getting into it. I don't know what the secret sauce is there. But you can always put a, a uh, uh, April Prim. I got a uh, niece named April Pelham. Very close. So uh, you can always put a super chat directly here on uh the channel you can always go in after i post a video in the comments section also and and post a contribution that way uh thank you there judy appreciate that yeah if you go there you will find the uh, uh donate button that you saw my bioworms page and just scroll past the disable bioworms uh uh postings and it's down there so judy i appreciate that post so um I'll check PayPal one more time. Don't see anything there right now. But something might come through in a little bit. That's always possible. Check my email. 
That's on the other. Go to focused. Go to other. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, I will probably go live tonight on Galactic, not Galactic Glass, on Swivel Head News to bring updates. What happened? What do we know? So just stay tuned. It may be really late. I don't know if I can keep my gas running really late tonight. I was really, uh, I thought I was about to pass out from exhaustion. I was actually getting ready to take a nap when this came across which is rare. I almost never take a nap, but I was up late and got up so early working on that presentation that I gave NARPnet, NARPnet, which I will actually record and post on this channel, called Bug Out Living. It's about living on the trail uh, in a van and showing some construction from my tiny homes and stuff, just pictures that was not in the video I posted back a while. So anyway, folks, eyes wide open, head on a swivel. Just remember, this stuff wouldn't be happening if the world weren't full of hatred. Hatred is a poison. Hatred comes from evil. Do not give in to that. Yes, Joe, much love. Thank you. Do not give in to that. I tell you many, many times, as light dispels dark, love dispels hate. Shine your love light in the world. Do something nice for somebody. Especially reach out to people from other aisle, other sides of the aisle, across race lines. Let people know that you got goodness in your heart, and they will appreciate it. Especially if they don't view the world the way you. You're like, oh, this person's actually nice. Why is that? You know, uh, there's too much hatred. Way too much hatred in this world. Joe was taking a nap. <laughs> Sniffy Joe. Oh no, Sniffy Joe. Yeah, who knows. Crypto's crashing. I saw that. I, I reported that earlier. I saw it on uh, Bitflyer, which is now that shows several curves simultaneously. Yeah, it did go down. It's recovered a little bit, but it's still down. As you can see, it's all all of it's in red. Every single one of them is down. You can see a little bit of an uptick curve. It's had a little bit of a bounce back. I don't know. Prayers welcome. Amen, Judy. Y'all remember pray for Judy, too. She's had some health issues. And for new days, she's had surgery uh, for Kaylee, the granddaughter of uh, Granny Atlanta. Uh, we're family here, folks. Just remember that. Broken, broken past to uh, Masio. I don't know how to pronounce it. Inu, MD, PhD, experimental therapy. Yeah, I can't say that too much. I definitely get in trouble for that on there. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of reports coming out. Oh my gosh, the stuff that's coming out in that regard is massive. Anyway, again, thank you, Super Chatters. Thank you, Mods. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Please share my videos and uh, stay tuned. There will be more news later. So I'll expect to go live tonight on Silverhead News. To one and all, have a good